Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the vector of Darbo. The vector of Darbo, or Darbo if you're French, right, is omega, which is the torsion t hat plus the curvature of the curve b hat. Okay, so this is called our vector of Darbo. Okay. And let's figure out what properties this vector has. It's a very special vector. It's a rotationally, it's a vector which is equivalent to the rotation vector of the Fresnel ray frame. So let's do the following. I'd like to recall what the Fresnel ray equations are. So recall the Fresnel ray equations. The Fresnel equations are dtds is equal to the curvature of s, p hat of s. dpds is equal to negative curvature of s, t hat of s, plus torsion of s, b hat of s. And db hat ds is negative torsion of s, p hat of s. Okay? Where p, uh, where t, p, and b is the Fresnel ray frame. So here t, p, and b is the Fresnel ray frame. Beautiful. Now let's do the following. Let's look at what this vector of Darbo is cross T. So let's consider, consider omega cross T hat. Well, let's recall what our cross product relationships rule are for T, P, and B. They're just like I, J, and K. So I have T, P, normal, and B. So let's think what's going to happen. So this is going to be what? This is going to be tau T hat cross kappa B hat cross, that's a plus obviously, not a, not a cross, plus, cross what? Cross T hat. Well, T hat cross T hat is equal to zero. And B cross T is equal to what? B cross T is equal to P. So this is going to be kappa of S, P hat of S. That's great, because kappa of S, P hat of S, is dt ds. So hence, the vector of Darbo cross T hat is the same thing as dt ds. That's beautiful. Next, let's consider what? Let's consider the vector of Darbo cross p hat. So this will be what? This is going to be tau t hat plus kappa b hat. And I'm going to cross that with p. So let's do it. So what's t cross p? t cross b is b, so I'm going to get torsion times what? I'm going to get torsion times b, torsion of s times b, because t cross p is equal to what? Is equal to b. And then b cross p is negative t, so this is going to be minus t hat of s and then kappa of s. But look at this. The vector of Darbo cross p is negative kappa t, and then plus torsion b. Aha! So this, hence, omega cross p hat is just dp ds. Beautiful. All right. And finally, let's do the last one. The last one is going to be what? Let's consider the vector of Darbo cross b hat. That's what? That is tau t hat plus kappa b hat cross b hat. The easy one, of course, is b cross b. That gives you nothing. And then I have t cross b. t cross b is what? Is negative tau, right? So this is going to be what? This is going to be negative tau of s p hat of s. Lo and behold, that is exactly what? db ds. So the vector of Darbo cross b hat is db ds. Beautiful. So in other words, if I cross the vector of Darbo with anything in the Fresnel ray frame, I get the derivative of that vector in the Fresnel ray frame. Thank you very much.